There are four main types of eukaryotes that we're going to look at in this course. And I'm going to list them out for you now, knowing that we're not really going to define their major differences until we start looking at cell parts in the rest of this lecture. So four main eukes. Remember, all eukaryotes have a nucleus. A great quiz or test question would be compare and contrast uh, two of these plant cells, excuse me, two of these eukaryotic cells. For example, plant cells, oh, are one type of eukaryote. Animal cells are another type of eukaryote. So if you're going to compare and contrast these guys, a compare is telling something that is similar between them. And the similarity between plant and animal cells, one similarity is that they're both eukaryotes. That saying they're both eukaryotes gives you a lot of information. It tells you that they both have membrane-bound organelles and they both have a nucleus. You also have fungi. The fungal cells, this includes fungi are, um, mushrooms are an example of a fungus. Yeast is an example of a fungus. So fungi are a pretty diverse group of critters, but they're also eukaryotes, so they also have a nucleus. And the last group of critters is a group that I put into parentheses because the group itself, the name of the group itself, really doesn't tell you a whole lot about the group. It's incredibly diverse. But these guys, they're, they're called protists, and they are single-celled eukaryotes. So they're single-celled critters. In fact, that critter that we saw at the very beginning of this lecture was a protist. It was a single-celled eukaryote. It has a nucleus. But they don't live together. They're not communal. They're, they aren't multicellular. You are not a protist. However, they're so diverse. There are plant-like protists and animal-like protists. And we'll, again, deal with the protist problem, problem, uh, further down the road. So these are the types of eukaryotes. We're going to focus in mainly on plants and animals during this particular section of the course. So when we're looking, in fact, in our lab, we're going to be investigating different kinds of plant cells and different kinds of animal cells, and we'll be looking at them under the microscope. So kind of in, in the rest of the lecture, we'll be thinking mainly about comparing plants and animals. Now, um, if I asked you to put a bacterial cell into this mix, where are you going to put it? Think on that. In fact, that makes me want to make my clicker questions right now because I want to put that clicker question in um, your clicker activities for class, whatever this happens. Here I go. Now I'm leaving because we're going to come back and we're going to talk about um, how we define, like, what's inside a cell and what's outside a cell.